How's it going Guardians? Welcome to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, I'll be showing you the most efficient farm for spectral pages as well as candy after the patch that Bungie released with the recent maintenance update. Now if you find any of the information in this video useful, you can always go and support me by getting this video to 25 likes. Now without any further ado, let's jump right into the guide. So after the recent patch, a lot of the farms got nerfed to the ground, but the Amaru engine is still a viable option for candy. Now unfortunately, this farm is only for candy and it's not giving you any spectral pages but later on in this video I will go over a farm for both spectral pages and candy so right now if you are a solo player this is a great option to just go in there and farm a ton of candy now to be able to do the Imaru engine farm you're going to need two arcane cards to grant you access to the areas you need to get to the first one being a gift of strength and you can find this right before the boss encounter on Savathun Spire once you enter the room look to your right and the arcane card will be next to the closed off portal the next arcane card you going to need is a gift of navigation. You can find this card in the altars of summoning. Simply follow the path I take on screen and you'll find the card in the arms of a hive statue. Now there's going to be a crystal in her arms. Just destroy the crystal and you can jump up and grab the card. Once you have both cards, head to Imaru's engine and follow the path I'm taking on screen to get to the puzzle room. Once you reach this room, switch to the hard light exotic and simply shoot the symbols with a matching element. You can switch the modes on the hard light by holding down X. Now the order of the symbols is arc, solar, void, solar and it's the same every time. So all you need to do is rinse and repeat this for the 305 candy, roughly taking 2 minutes each time. Now as for the most efficient farm for both candy and spectral pages would easily have to be the public events on EDZ. I don't think there's any other activity right now that you can actually do that's as short as public events giving you 2-3 to three pages every time. Alongside the 2-3 to three spectral pages you're also earning 210 candy every heroic public event and right now these events are very active with players so you can get them done really fast making this farm very efficient. Now the great thing about this farm is that Bungie isn't going to nerf this anytime soon i mean at the end of the day it's just simple public events in my opinion both of these methods are solid viable options for any player looking to complete the festival of the lost event it really just depends on which part of the event you're at if you're someone that's finished the book and you've filled it up with all the manifested pages then it's probably better off if you just go and do the maru farm because it's definitely quicker and you're getting more candy out of it however if you are looking for something more engaging and more fun of course then it's probably better off if you do public events there's always players there you can still you know mess around here as well so you know it really just depends on whichever one you want to do both are solid options anyway guardians that's pretty much it for this video i hope you've all been having a great festival of the lost so far now if you found any of the information in this video useful you can go ahead and support me by getting this video to 25 likes i'm also currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers so if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future destiny 2 content as always guardians have a spectacular day and peace out